Hi, I'm Ken Reynolds, and I'm going to share a story with you, something that happened to me. On March 6th, 2018, I received a call from my doctor. The doctor gave me some news that I wasn't expecting, and it was that I had lymphoma, which is a form of cancer. I was shocked. The reason I was shocked is because I wasn't expecting it. They were thinking that maybe it was an infection. You know, a lot of times you'll get a test done, and they're telling you what it could be. But they had really had not done that with this. So I had to ingest that news, I had to kind of process it. It was early in the morning. I had to decide at that moment, am I gonna let this shake me or am I gonna walk through it? And at that point I realized that the battle was gonna first start in my mind. I had to get a hold of that information. And a lot of times in life, that's where things start. That's where the battle begins, in your mind, how you process it, how you're gonna think about it. Are you gonna let it control everything that you, that you do? I want to share a scripture that brought me through at least the first part of that, that journey. Because it was a, it was a two-year journey, and I'm still walking through it. I'm doing good. But at that time, Psalm 23 was brought, was brought to my mind that brought me comfort during that time. And, you know, I ended up writing a song to that psalm. One of the lines in that scripture that is in this song says, Yea, though I walk through the valley I will fear no evil for you are with me and you notice in that scripture it says yea though I walk through the valley it doesn't say yea though I sit in the valley yea though I sulk in the valley it doesn't say yea I whine in the valley you know a lot of times we do that we're facing something and we're, we're faced with some challenges or some obstacles and we have a pity party you know, it's understandable we have emotions, things that happen to us, and, and we don't sometimes know what to do. But the Bible is clear. And in that scripture, it says we walk through the valley, that we will fear no evil. Why? Because God is with us. And I knew that my story wasn't done. And that was one of the things that got me through, because I knew my story wasn't done. You know, verse 2 of that song says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I know where my help comes from. I will fear no evil, because the best is yet to come. I had to really believe that. I had to believe that God had better things for me, that my better days were ahead, and the latter days are greater than the past, and my story wasn't done, and your story isn't done. You know, in life we face a lot of different obstacles. Some are small, some are, some are little molehills, and some are big mountains. You know, this was a big mountain in my life. I ended up going through a bone marrow transplant, I endured some treatments. I was in the hospital for just about a month. I mean, there were days where I was in a lot of pain. And, you know, I had an opportunity to either get depressed and look at the, the negative side of things or to keep my eyes on God. The battle started in my mind. So it was what my focus was. And I had to choose to make my focus not what I was going through, but to focus on God. I had to face the reality. I had a lot of support, a lot of friends, my wife and my, my two kids and my family. They supported me. But my focus needed to be on God. I had to realize that the songs that I sing about every week, I had to live that out. You know, we sing these songs every week. We read our scriptures. Some of us have been walking this walk for a long time. But when you face a challenge like this, some of you have faced some challenges like this or maybe some other challenges. You lost your job. Or maybe you're going through a, a struggle with your family. We just went through COVID. We, I said we went through it. Actually, we're still in it. That can be discouraging. You know, and some of those same things that brought me through can bring you through, even in a time like this. So you need to make a decision. You need to make a decision to either walk through the valley and keep walking or stop, look at your issues and sulk. <laughs> That's what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy wants you to look at your problems. And when you do that, your problems get bigger. But what God is telling us to do is look at him. When we look at God and focus on him, he gets bigger. And he's bigger than anything that you can face. He was bigger than this, and I'm getting through it. And I know that my better days are ahead. And I believe that. You know, as you listen to the words of this song, um, be encouraged by the, by the chorus. The words are, you are God and you are good right beside me through the valley you're always there you promised and i believe 
And what that's saying is no matter what you're going through, God is still good. He's good in the valley, he's good on the mountaintop. And I didn't realize when I wrote the song that we'd be in what we're going through right now. These words are true more today than even they were when I wrote it. God bless you.